Hey guys, so if we want our generic classes to accept multiple types that are related by a common superclass, we use upper bounded wildcards. So let's learn this through an example. Suppose we have a simple method that adds two numbers together. We want the arguments to be numbers, so we use the number class, which is a superclass of double, integer, float, long, short, and etc. So we can try this. We can try public static double sum and then have our list and then define our type to be number. However, notice that we can only place a number class here. We can't have any double, integer, or float classes. To fix this, we can use the extends keyword with the wildcard symbol question mark. So instead of list number, we use list and then question mark extends number. This means that this method is available to a class if and only if it extends the class number. So here's our updated code. And we can see that we have our question mark extends number here. So this is called using the upper bounded wildcards since the class number serves as an upper bound for the types of classes we may use. 